Good afternoon and welcome to Ben's Addiction. My name is Max and today I have something special for you. See over here, I still have my R129 SL500 and I have my C209 CLK320 and I had committed a crime as well. So I've got another CLK and that's an A209. And if you're reading this badge over here saying CLK55, it's actually not a CLK55. So as you know, I'm a very Benz addict person and I have bought this car from an auction in Sydney, which is a thousand kilometers away without even looking at the car, inspecting the car, or even uh, looking at the logbook of the car, which is the history. And I over here have many, many issues with this car that I am going to talk about this. And I'm going to show you how many problems this car have, how many of the problems are the typical problems with the, let's say 2003 uh, Mercedes. And I'm also going to mention what makes this car really, really not worth buying from auction, even with a very cheap price. So stay tuned and let's, Let's look at the issues one by one. I want to show you a few problems with the exterior that was not visible uh, on the auction website. So as you can see, there are a few dents and imperfections over here. Also, this uh, spoiler has come loose. And of course, that CLK55 is a bit scary. I don't want to see that on that because this is a CLK500, not a CLK55. So the car does look nice from, uh, let's say, six foot. But there are few imperfections over here. As you can see, let's say these are parking lot uh, dents. But that's not the only issue with the uh, exterior. So on this side, I can't see much of the problem. But when you go to the other side, you will see that there is a big dent over here but and there is uh, some uh, scratches over here on the bumper which is not a big deal but look at the gap over here i can stick my finger inside this gap and this headlight is completely sun faded and if you compare it to the other side you will see that the headlight on the right hand side is very very sun faded moving to the back of the car there are a few uh, scratches over here on the left front fender and there is another dent on the wheel arch over here. This is the typical issue with the CLKs because the mirrors are not so wide and doesn't show you much. So every time you want to move back, uh, put it in a reverse, you just make sure that you can see all the spots, especially the wheel arch on your CLKs. I've seen many, many occasions on CLKs that the wheel arts are not perfect because of the, all the dents. So this soft top is two pieces. This is uh, one piece and the other side is the other piece. And they have glued these two uh, parts together. And as you can see, there is a long stretch of uh, split over here from the glue that needs to be taken care of. But this soft top is not very clean so I would say it hasn't been cleaned for ages and it needs a really deep clean that's not a major issue we have few uh, imperfections on the rims as well which is uh, actually normal for this kind of age of the car so this car is a 2003 and let's move to the next things that can go wrong with a CLK A209 especially the A209 so over here there is a partition for the soft top if you don't close this uh, partition you will not be able to uh, open your soft top in order for this uh, partition to stay here and push on that micro switch on the left hand side you will need two gas struts 
one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side those gas struts are not working apparently so this goes back by itself and that's the first issue this is not a major issue let's go ahead to the interior engine and mechanical and you will see what really is wrong with this car and one more thing that is wrong with this car is this mirror which is loose as you can see over here it needs some attention moving towards interior as you can see there is nothing wrong with the door trims or the seats uh, apart from being uh, filthy look at the seat it's really filthy it means that this car hasn't been washed for a while but uh, the first thing that is noticeable is that glove box that gloves box cannot be closed properly and it drops by itself so the problem with that glove box which is a typical problem with uh, most of the CLKs is this see the loose latch over here shouldn't be like that so that's the reason why this glove box is not uh, being closed at all moving to towards uh, this area you will see that there is not much problem visually and the letter is in a good shape same as the dash there is no problem with that okay looking at the steering wheel you'll see that steering wheel is almost perfect except some imperfections over here the letter is no longer perfect it's cracked also one more problem with CLKs W203, W211 and W209 is that the steering wheel obviously electrical and if you move this lever you'll see that steering wheel moves towards me and moves back to its original place but it doesn't move up or down which is a common issue with the CLKs, W209s, W203, W211 moving towards center console if you try to open this compartment area over here you will see that it doesn't open and close properly because one of the arms on the other side is broken that's not a major problem let's move on and have a look move this seat forward this headdress needs to come down in order to not touch that sun visor over there but it's not coming down so this is another issue over here on the back seats there is another problem you can see that those two uh, headrests are ejected so they uh, pop out as a safety measure if the car just uh, slides or just uh, hit a big bump and they need to go down so the roof can be closed that's not a problem either because in uh, on CLK's A209 this can be a reset and push down unlike W207 okay moving over here to the sun visor you will see that the sun visor is missing their uh, lids so I've got both of these lids broken so this is just uh, some cost adding up as you can see over here okay moving to the log books and all the books and service history of this car there is a little problem over here so on the website that I bought this car it was mentioned that the log book and all the histories are missing but fortunately I found this pack of books which is just like three kilogram of all sorts of books and uh, instructions but I'm now finding out on this car that the last service done on this car was 27,000 kilometers that means back in 2010 and that equals to 13 years so so there are only three services on this car has happened ever so as you can see over here this car has 122,000 kilometers on the clock if we suppose that 
the servicing has done on this car without stamping the logbook, let's have a look underneath the bonnet to see what is going on there. Okay, I don't know if you have noticed, but as we go, the situation gets worse and worse. Over here, it looks like this engine has never been taken care of. There is spider webs everywhere. And if I can show you under underneath the engine, there is a bird nest going on. And there is all sorts of debris and dust over here on the engine bay. But that's not a big issue. So the next problem, I checked the coolant and there is only a plain water in there, which is not a very good sign. And then, as usual, of the M113 and M112 engine, there is all sorts of oil leaks from the rocket cover gasket, as you can see on both sides. That's not a big deal too, because I can I can replace those rocker covers but moving on to the next problem the major problem over here that we have is let's have a look underneath I wish I could show you uh, the whole situation is now visible to you look at that it's so dirty. It looks like this car hasn't been serviced in the past 10 years at all. So as you can see, there is lots of gunk in the engine, which is going to be a huge issue. If I ever take those rocker covers off, you will see all sorts of junks and gunks on it, which is not a very good sign at all. This means these guys haven't changed the engine oil almost at all. This is the kind of gunk you would see on a after 90,000 kilometers of not changing the oil. And this is something that I'm really afraid of. This is really scary. What I can do, I can try to clean up all the rocker covers, change the engine oil a few times, and maybe put some extra detergent in the uh, oil to be able to clean inside the engine a bit better, but never ever I will have all those gunks disappear from that engine. So on the website, on the auction website, it was mentioned that smoke is coming out of the engine bay, and engine is smoky. So my guess was that the rocker covers are leaking oil and it drops on the exhaust manifold which uh, causes all sorts of uh, smokes coming out of the engine bay. Let's go and start the car and see what is wrong next. And now let's start the engine. So the engine starts, but as you can see, that engine light is on. And there is a good reason for that. So let's diagnose the car to see what is the problem. So, so M112 and M113 engines are very sturdy and good quality built engine. And I can't see any smoke coming out of uh, the tailpipe after all these abuses and lack of maintenance also looking at all those lack of maintenance i cannot hear a lot of noise coming out of the engine it probably has some extra level of noise and that's really actually natural due to the lack of maintenance and the low quality of the oil so i have hooked up the diagnostic tools to this car and it now has started this scanning process. So there are two faults on the engine, no faults on transmission, one fault on ESP. 
So because I'm much more curious to see uh, what is wrong with engine, I'm just uh, reading the codes for engine. Read the codes and it appears to be... Okay, the first code is accelerator pedal sensor. That's the potentiometer. So P20DC002. That's the first code and the second code is left O2 sensor before TWC cat so I have a left uh, upstream O2 sensor problem as well as the accelerator pedal potentiometer so here is the situation there are 16 uh, spark plugs on this engine that needs to be replaced because they are all original spark plugs and I can say from the way how bad they are I include one photo he over here for you. This takes a long time because those spark plugs at the end and every cylinder has two of them are very tough to remove, especially when a spark plug hasn't been removed for 122,000 kilometers. Second, and my main problem is the engine oil and inside the engine gunk, which is going to take a lot of effort and oil change to clean some of that gunk out and then I have to service everything on that on this car including coolant including the transmission fluid the differential all the fluids including the brake also the steering hydraulic system needs to be flushed and everything else so guys this car is going to take a lot of money and energy to be back to its glory and as you can see all these dents need someone to take care of and remove all the dents also I need to spray all these imperfections and fix them the roof problem, the interior bits and pieces that are broken and the tires which probably are 5-10 years old, they need to be replaced as well. So guys, this is going to be a big project and takes a lot of money. So my advice to you is don't buy these cars without inspecting, without diagnosis, without looking at very closely from from close distance don't bid on these cars without having a look this car is going to cost me thousands of dollars and hours and hours of work by myself but the good news is that guys I'm going to include all of the projects for you on next videos so as you can see there are lots of issues over here that are common and uh, the general problem with CLK at this kind of age and year and there are problems coming out of negligence so guys thank you so much for watching please make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button so my video can be seen with much more people so i'm hoping this video to be helpful thank you so much and have a good day